Hollywood recently came out with another take on the tragedy of the Indianapolis. You know, the story Quint talks about in Jaws during his famous monologue, what is known as one of the greatest naval accidents of all time, one of the worst shark attacks of all time. As fascinated as we are with sharks, and as morbidly obsessed as we are with the idea of them biting or consuming us, of course Hollywood had to play big on the shark part of the story. Let's use this as an opportunity to take a look at what really happened. Welcome to Shark Minutes. Before the ship is even torpedoed or anyone hits the water, there's foreshadowing of the looming menace of the sharks. That sharks don't really bother you unless you're bleeding. Complete with one of my all-time favorite misconceptions. If you're bleeding, it's a problem. I've been known to bleed. Well, sir, according to Hollywood, Shark Week, and the Natal Sharks Board, you can never go in the ocean. Obviously, we can't take anyone who's bleeding. As silly as that may or may not be, it does bring an opportunity to talk about what the situation was in the ocean that day. When you hear a story about sailors in the worst shark attack of all time, it creates images of healthy men swimming in a clean ocean with sharks coming out of nowhere to attack them for no good reason. The reality of the situation is that hundreds of men were dead before the ship even went down. Explosions, burnt flesh, dismemberment, corpses laying in the water, men falling overboard, many left fighting for life against both their injuries and the elements. Sharks are both hunters and scavengers, but more importantly, they're opportunistic. Most animals are opportunistic. They're going to take an easy meal over a meal that comes with conflict. About now, some of you are saying, ah, so we admit sharks eat people. I admit that it's happened, but these are unusual occurrences, not the norm. Everything has eaten something that it doesn't normally eat in certain situations and certain opportunities. I ate a scorpion in Thailand. I'm not a scorpion eater. In the books I've read, the ship was torpedoed in the wee hours of the morning on Sunday, and the sharks started doing their thing sometime on Tuesday. Now in the movie, the sharks are already in the water, even as the ship is exploding, waiting for the men. Any of you who are divers know that any marine animal, not just sharks, would have been nowhere near that noisy chaos. So it makes much more sense that the sharks showed up a couple of days later to investigate all these things floating in the water, some of them dead, some of them alive. Instead, in the movies, the shark started on day one. And they did it so frighteningly with the men disappearing as though a giant catfish sucked them under the water and caused every drop of blood inside their body to explode out all at once. This poor guy was foolish enough to lean his head overboard in order to puke, where of course a shark was waiting for the opportunity, leapt up, and made every drop of blood in his body explode. And of course, every single time it was a great white shark. Now what I will concede is that as the days went on and more predators were attracted to the feeding opportunity, the competition levels rose, which would in turn give way to more aggressive behavior. And it's likely that during this time is when most of the able-bodied men suffered their bites. At least one account lists the total number of people who fell victim to shark bites at only 60. This of course excludes any bites on or consumption of corpses. Whatever the actual numbers were, I think we can all agree that our imaginations, with the help of Hollywood, make the scene worse than it actually was. But what the books and Hollywood agreed upon was the government's attempt to scapegoat the captain in order to cover their own negligence. Under the burden of guilt, he eventually killed himself. And while it's more entertaining to imagine sharks as these monsters out there trying to get us, let's not forget that it was humans, politicians, telling soldiers to send other soldiers on a suicide mission. It was humans who failed to rescue these men floating in the ocean for four days. It was humans who sent boys on a mission they knew they would likely not come back from. It was humans who torpedoed the boat. And the reason they were in the first place was humans delivering weapons of mass destruction in order to kill other humans by the millions. But yeah, sharks are the monsters. <laughs>